Good evening, YouTube peeps and budding entrepreneurs. This is Tom T.K. Kramer coming at you from my YouTube channel. And today we are going to talk about uh, Big Commerce SEO, but more importantly, Big Commerce SEO Google Chrome extension. Yes, I said Google Chrome extension for Big Commerce. Going to show you some a little tutorial on this simple. Uh, extension that you can attach to Chrome and um, improve your SEO ranking of your products on Big Commerce. So stay tuned. Make sure that you tick the subscribe button. Actually, subscribe, and then don't forget to tick the bell icon. By doing that, you will stay up to date on videos as they are released and notified that when they're released. So stay tuned and um, stay tuned for this next broadcast. want to get right into it you've already saw the pre view what I'm going to do so let's get into it as you can see I got my big commerce screen up here but before we even tackle that we need to add the Chrome extension I already have it added but it is ticked off right now but I just want to show you how to get to it so we're gonna to go to a new tab we're gonna click on the Chrome store right there Let me make that a little bigger so we're going to go to the Chrome Web Store. And we're just going to type in Big Commerce SEO. There it is. It's telling me to rate it. I've already rated it. Let's kind of look into this. And let me enlarge that so you can see what that says. And what it is is a goes to your Big Commerce screen, which I'll go to mine when you get there, because right now, and I'm going to go to that too. Right now, it doesn't have any of this, and you can't see this kind of blurry. But we'll get to that. But what it says, it currently adds search result preview widgets to the SEO sections in Big Commerce admin, as a few other tweaks, and it supports the extended snippet of size of four lines, 300 characters. One of the first SEO tasks. Uh, task, excuse me, for an e-commerce store owner is to optimize their title tags and their pages stand out the search results. So this extension adds Google search result preview to the SEO sections of Big Commerce admin interface so you can instantly see what your edits will look like. So I'm going to go ahead and um, you can click to add it to Chrome, but I'm just going to go ahead and enable the item. And uh, actually, I'm going to disable the item right now for one reason. And let me go to extensions. I'm going to go back to disable, and I'll tell you why in a second here. So that is right here. I'm going to disable it right now because we're going to go into the big commerce and show you the difference. So I'm going to go to my dashboard. I'm going to go to products. And let's take a look. So I'm just going to click on, let's just click on this one here. So if you look on this, this is kind of where you put your details of your name and the description of the product, but really where you want to uh, make it stand out is in the back end. So right here, you can see I actually put a call number on the name of the product, but that is not really good SEO. But we there's a reason for that because when you go to the back end, you can change that, but still keep that title actually in the product section. But for Google, it will show you. Uh, you can show it differently. So if you scroll down, this is called search engine optimization. Let me enlarge that. 
So you can see it has page title. So learn how to boost. You can read that later. So it has your page title. As you can see, instead of having the call number, I have uh, a commonly searched term on the Internet plus the title. Meta keywords, which really is, does not matter, and I'll show you in a second on that. Meta description, this actually should be longer. Uh, this is a new product, so we're actually coming up with the uh, a little bit longer meta description as we speak. And then my product URL. In the URL, I'm making sure I have the keyword phrases along with the product name in there. So that uh, increases the search viability. But what I want to do is go to the extensions. I'm going to tick that back. And let's see. So I'm going to refresh this page and see if this will pop in. There, I'm back, and let's see if what happens here. Hopefully, it works. Um, probably should have had it on in the first place, but I wanted to see if it would work where it showed before and after. So I'm back here, and let's go to other details again. And let's take a look. And there you have it. It just did. It just went in and changed. So before we did not have this thing called Google Preview. So it says, okay, this is what it's going to look like when they do on uh, Google. If someone searched and found this on our first or second page, got fine art count across it, just strong springtime. Now it shows our big commerce URL, but on Google, it will show our actual domain name. The back end, it's looking at the back end and everything. And then, as you can see, I have this, which is really a key phrase built into the URL and then this so I'm gonna need more information so the uh, it has a title which is good I can put about a few more pixels in there if I wanted to but this one I'm just gonna keep like it is as you can see we really don't need this uh, meta keywords anymore I'm gonna leave it in there because I want to go over my wife on that but we don't really need those anymore and then the meta description um, we really need to add more to it. So if you were going to say a song of springtime, beautiful cross stitch pattern of spring landscape or something like that. So you can see it's now, this is how it look on here. I'm using search phrase this is a cross stitch site using that search phrase so this is picking up and then of course landscape so down here my product URL is pretty much pretty good so I'm happy with that so I'm going to go ahead and save this and this is about as simple as it can be so it really just kind of says hey you can add a little bit more to your page title get rid of the keywords because it doesn't count that much anymore and make sure that and you still have I still have room to put more characters make sure you fill that in to get the best search of uh, what you're looking to do with the um, uh, trying to get that Google ranking so I'm going to save that and so that is about it if you have any questions or more comments go ahead and comment on the video you can also reach me at tkremark at gmail.com and um, Make sure you subscribe, as I stated earlier in the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to put out more videos like this. Make sure you tick the bell because you'll be notified of new videos. And uh, you'll be seeing them put in playlists. Lastly, if you're not a big commerce uh, customer yet, but you've been thinking about it, make sure you click up here. You'll see a link to... Um, Maybe up here, it might, it might be in the description. You can also go in the description, a link where you can sign up uh, to Big Commerce if you're interested. Um, 
And uh, that should be about it. Until next time, see you later. And make sure that you look at the recommended videos that follow this video so you can keep on learning about BigCommerce. Take care and talk to you later.